Hello students, welcome to AIMS India Online Classes, this science session. Here we are discussing about the chapter fiber to fabric chapter. So in the earlier sessions we have seen different kinds of fibers, natural and artificial fibers, how these fibers are converted into fabric finally in different procedures we have seen. On these concepts, on the concepts which we have learned, now we are going to see Olympiad Practiceship. Okay. First, uh, let us go through the level 1 questions on this chapter. See the first one. Which of the following sequences is correct in making of fabric? Yes, just now we told the, uh, the process of conversion from fiber to fabric undergoes different uh, procedures. So, first, uh, the fiber is separated from the seeds. That process is called ginning. And then the fiber, pure fiber obtained, is twisted and rolled to get yarn. That process is called spinning. Then those yarn are made into fabric by the process called either weaving or knitting. So the sequence is in this order first, ginning, and then spinning, and finally, weaving. By these three procedures in the sequence, we get a fabric from fiber. So, where it is mentioned? Here. Okay, this is correct answer. See the next one. Which of the following devices was popularized by Mahatma Gandhi as a part of independence movement? Yes, one of the devices used in the process of fiber to fabric making. He was popularized by Mahatma Gandhi in the moment of independence that was charka okay charka next which of the following materials is grouped wrongly in the chart given below see a chart is mentioned here the by classifying the fibers into natural and artificial fibers with examples so which is wrongly placed among these natural fibers flax it is correct rayon is not a natural fiber isn't it it is artificial or man made fiber but it is placed uh, under the natural fibers so it is wrongly placed terrelin is an artificial fiber even polyester is also an artificial fiber now the fiber only which is uh, placed wrongly is uh, rayon which is an artificial fiber but not natural okay next so the next question which of the following processes Involve involves the rotting of gummy skin of jute sticks in water. That is called retting. Okay, this process is called retting. Next, which of the following fibers on burning smells like burning hair? So, out of these, if you see cotton, flax, jute, wool fiber, it smells like uh, hair because wool is obtained from the hair of certain animals like camel, sheep, and yak. From these all, wool is prepared. The fiber of these is used for making wool. That's why when it is burned, it gives a smell of hair, burning hair. Okay. Next, which of the following is used to make carpets and gunny bags? Yes, the fiber used for making carpets and gunny bags is jute. It is uh, because it is uh, having a rough texture. Okay. Jute is used for making this all. Next. Which of the following does not belong to the group formed by others? Observe once the fibers given so we can understand what is the group. Wool, polyester, silk, cotton. If you observe here, wool, silk and cotton. These three are natural fibers isn't it natural fibers whereas polyester is the only artificial fiber among these so it is it does not belong to the group formed by these three because these three are natural fibers whereas polyester is an artificial fiber next one complete the given correlation say silk is obtained from cocoon whereas wool is obtained from from where it is obtained Yes, it is obtained from 
hair of rabbit sorry fleece of sheep sheep hair it is fleece of sheep next which of the following is not a synthetic fiber observe all the fibers given here polyester nylon wool acrylic out of these all these three are synthetic fibers or man made fibers because these are prepared in the laboratory from the chemicals not from the natural resources but if you observe here wool wool is uh, obtained wool fiber is obtained from hair of a certain animals like sheep camel ag and these all so it is obtained from natural sources so it is called natural fiber but not synthetic fiber next which of the following were used by people in ancient times to cover their cover the cover themselves actually it is cover themselves so which of the fibers which of the following were used by the people in the ancient times to come to cover themselves see once those bark bark leaves of trees animal skin so these all are used these all were used by the people in the ancient time to cover themselves to protect from the atmospheric conditions so all of these is correct answer next question which part of the cotton plant yields cotton balls is yes, from where it comes from the leaves fruit seed flower from where it comes from the fruit okay next which of the following processes involves the separation of seeds from cotton balls is yes, the process of separation of cotton seeds from the cotton balls is called ginning ginning process this is the first step in the making of fiber into fabric isn't it ginning process next which of the following is made from coconut fiber so coconut fiber is a thick and rough so which can be made from that see sweater shoe mattresses and sarees which can be made yes mattresses mattresses can be made from coconut fiber it is also called coir isn't it next the cultivation of which of the following needs a block soil and warm climate yes for which it is needed block soil and warm climate generally for me cultivating cotton yes for the cultivation of cotton it needs block soil and warm climate next which of the following processes involves conversion of yarn into cloth yes actually yarn is made into fabric or cloth by the processes called either weaving or knitting so which is given between these two here it is given weaving the process by which two or more yarn are made into a cloth directly is called weaving in some other process only one ka one yarn is made into cloth or fabric that is called knitting so by these two processes cloth is made from yarn so one of them is weaving next which of the following takes place when fabrics are twisted before being made into yarns or thread so by twisting what happens make them more absorbent make them more strong make them smooth add air spaces inside the fiber so they make them more strong fiber becomes more strong by twisting okay which of the following is formed when fibers are twisted by spinning so when fibers are twisted by the process called spinning it makes yarn yarn is made from fiber by spinning okay next fibers are made from which of the following is suited to be used in cold places so in the cold places we have to use the fabric which gives warmth to our body generally the cloths made from wool woolen cloths gives a warmth to our body so we have to use those cloths in the cold places woolen cloths are preferred to be used in the cold places so 
they protect us from the cool air cool air in that area they gives warmth to our body next jute is a natural fiber it is obtained from which part of the jute plant yes jute is one of the natural fibers because it is obtained from the plants even you can say it is plant fiber so it is obtained from the bark that is from the stem stem of the jute plant use jute fiber okay from the stem next cotton and woolen clothes are rough when compared to silk isn't it of course cotton and woolen clothes are somewhat rough when compared to silk because silk will be very smooth it is having smooth texture now which of the following statements supports the above statement see what they have given they have many uneven folds they have many even folds they the folds are small and even the fibers are smooth so here why these cotton and woolen clothes are being a little rough when compared to silk the reason is they have many uneven foldings because of that they will be somewhat rough when compared to silk next you see which of the following machines work on the principle of cherka is yes, spindle so in making of uh, yarn from the fiber spindle works on the principle of cherka next raju is feeling very hot on a summer day so he is sweating too much due to blazing sun the clothes will which clothes will keep him comfortable so in summer season which clothes gives more comfort to our body that's the question here because we sweat more in summer day so by wearing which type of clothes we feel a little comfort see here which clothes are mentioned here woolen cotton nylon silk out of this the clothes which have much free air flow and which can absorb more water will be preferred here out of these all those properties are there for cotton clothes cotton clothes give more comfort to our body in the summer season because they give more air free flow so you feel a little cool and even they absorb more sweat also and hence they give coolness to our body that's why in summer season cotton clothes are preferable next after spinning yarn after spinning yarn are used for making after spinning so when fiber undergoes spinning process it gives yarn so where this yarn are used for making yarn are used for making fabrics so first fiber is taken that is made into yarn and this yarn is made into fabric so yarn is used for making fabrics okay next which of the following is used by tailors to cut and stitch clothes made of cotton for us so which are used for making by the tailor for making clothes cotton fabrics so first cotton fiber is converted into cotton yarn cotton yarn is converted into fabric and it is delivered so tailor they use these cotton fabrics and they cut them and they stitch into different clothes desired shapes okay tailors they use cotton fabric fabrics made from which of the following fibers is most suitable as umbrella cloth so what with which it is to be what property should be there for the umbrella cloth it should not absorb moisture it should not absorb rain water so out of these all polyester polyester is light in weight and it won't absorb any water so it is most preferable polyester okay for making umbrella cloth which of the following materials is used to make gloves for electricians so the gloves which are used by electricians should be bad conductors of electricity they should not pass current through them so out of these all clothes if you observe rubber rubber is a poor conductor of electricity it won't allow any electricity through them 
so that electrician will get secure security from electric electric shocks so those gloves should be made with rubber okay next which of the following is or the characteristics of woolen clothes so what characters are given here woolen clothes heating our body of course they give heat or warmth to our body absorbing heat from sunlight yes they absorb sunlight and makes that heat not allowing body heat to escape outside yes this also happens so these all are happened by using woolen clothes now you can say these are all are the characteristics of woolen clothes next which of the following processes are used for making fabric from yarn actually it is yarn it has come yarn it is so from yarn fabric is made by two processes the process in which a single yarn is made into fabric is called knitting the process in which two or more yarn are made into a fabric is called <coughs> weaving so by these two processes yarn is converted into fabric so what are these both weaving and knitting this is correct answer okay next shreya is allergic with man made fabric man made fabric nothing but artificial or synthetic fabric so she only wears clothes made from natural fiber which one of the following materials will you recommend her not to use means uh, out of the given fibers here one of them is uh, man made fabric see the one which is man made fabric so that we can recommend her not to use that fiber or fabric out of these all nylon wool cotton silk nylon is man made fabric isn't it it is synthetic fiber so if she wears that she may get allergy so we can recommend her not to wear nylon fabric the remaining three are natural fibers we can wear comfortably next in which of the following machines the yarn are placed lengthwise on the frames of hand loom it is shuttle the shuttle in which of the following machines it is it is in the shuttle yarn are placed lengthwise on the frames of hand loom which of the following is obtained from the stem of a plant so certain plants certain plant fibers are obtained from stem of the plant they are like a jute doesn't it see here in the given options jute is obtained from stem of the plant even flax also flax also is obtained from stem of the flax plants so here in the given jute is a plant from where fiber is obtained from its stem whereas cotton is from its flowers or fruits wool is from the hair of the sheep and animals silk is from the silk worm okay jute is correct answer here next in which of the following processes the fibers are separated from seeds the process is called ginning fibers uh, fiber is separated from seeds by the process called ginning or combing okay combing or ginning it is by this process seeds are separated from the fiber next one which of the following does not belong to the group formed by the others see here polyester silk rayon terlin if you observe the fibers given here polyester rayon and terlin these three are artificial fibers or man made fibers whereas silk is obtained from silk worm and it is a animal fiber or natural fiber so except this remaining three are artificial fibers next which part of a cotton plant is used to obtain fibers from where it is obtained from the fruit or balls cotton balls cotton fiber is obtained okay cotton balls or cotton fruits yield cotton fiber next in which part of india is jute cultivated mostly in these all hot places 
West Bengal, Bihar, Assam. In those places, jute is cultivated. Which one of the following is uh, correct about sericulture? Rearing of animal, rearing of silk worm from obtaining silk, for obtaining silk, removing fleece of sheep. So, this sericulture is a process where rearing of silk worm for obtaining silk is done. This is sericulture. Okay, getting silk fiber. Next, choose animal fiber from the options given below. See, which is animal fiber among these? Rayon, polyester. Actually, these two are nat artificial fibers, man-made fibers. Now, here, silk and cotton are natural fibers. Out of these raw skin, animal fiber. So, silk is animal fiber. Cotton is plant fiber. Because silk is obtained from silk moth. Okay, silk fiber is animal fiber. Next, which of the following do not yield wool? Generally, so from certain animals hair, wool is obtained. Ack, camel, goat or sheep, and even woolly dog. These all gives. So, but here, out of these, okay, camel also will give. Mm. Goat, yak, woolly dog. Woolly dog also gives. So we can take here goat. Okay. Goat will not give. Sheep will give. Sheep will give the hair for making wool fiber, but goat will not. Okay. Next. Which one of the following is not a natural fiber? See here, certain fibers are mentioned cotton, wool. These two are obtained from natural sources. Wool is obtained from the hair of a Certain animals, so it is called animal fiber. Cotton is obtained from the plants, so it is a plant fiber or natural fiber. These two are natural fibers. But if you see polyester, it is a man made fiber, it is not from the natural sources, so it is not a natural fiber. Next, wool is obtained from which one of the following animals? What are those? Sheep, yak, camel. These all will give wool hair, which is used for making of woolen fiber. Next, the process by which the woolen fleece of a sheep is cut off, cut off, is known as what the process is called shearing. Shearing is a process in which the woolen fleece of sheep is cut off. That is called shearing. Next. Silk is derived from which of the following? From where it is silk is derived? From the cocoon. From the cocoon of the silk worm. Silk is obtained. Which one is thinner? Which is thinner among these all? Fiber. Because fiber is twisted and rolled to make yarn. This is yarn. So, this uh, two or more yarn are made, weaved or knitted to get fabric. So, out of this all, fiber is a thinner. Which one is a synthetic fiber, synthetic fabric? See here out of the given, which is synthetic fiber? Silk is an animal fiber. Wool is also a natural fiber and animal fiber. But acrylic, it is prepared in the laboratory. So, it is synthetic fiber. Okay, next. Select the fiber that is obtained from a plant source. Say wool, silk, cotton, both silk and cotton. Which is having plant source? Wool is from animals, silk also from animals. Cotton is from cotton plants. So, it is having plant source. It is called plant fiber. Fabrics made from which of the following is not suited to be used in cold and dry places? Okay, which fiber is not suited to wear in cold and dry places? Say cotton, wool, silk, fur. 
what is all silk we can say even cotton also so here we have to select only one we can say cotton fiber because cotton gives more cool to our body so they should not be used in cold and dry places next synthetic fibers are obtained from from where these are obtained synthetic fibers from the chemicals see here plant sources animal sources both a and b it is given but synthetic fibers are obtained from chemicals and they are prepared in the laboratory not from the natural sources that's why you can say here none of these next cotton balls or leaves of cotton plants seeds of cotton plants stem or fruits cotton balls are fruits of cotton plant they give cotton fiber okay now let us see the level 2 questions on this practice sheet okay now see the first question among these select the option which on reshuffling gives them gives the term used for the process of separating jute fibers so separating jute fibers is obtained by what we call the separation of jute fibers can we call ginning j i n n i no it is not writing is there here writing separation writing we can say r i t t i n g is spelling ones yes getting jute fiber it is a spinning is here yes spinning is there s yes, p i n n i n g spinning jute is a long soft plant fiber that can be spun into curves strong threads jute is a rainy season crop which grows best in warm and humid climate in which part of india jute is grown as we told in the warm and humid climate in these all areas it will be the same so from these all places jute is grown in india next spinning of yarn on a large scale is done with a spinning machine while the manual spinning is done with a hand operated device known as charka or it is also called takli so both you can say charka or takli okay yarn is made from the fiber by using this hand operated machines or devices takli and charka next which of the following clothing items are made from knitted fiber means the fibers made with only single yarn are called knitted fabrics generally these uh, socks is that's why if you uh, pull an iron from this completely it will be removed off that's why these are knitted fiber because knitted fabrics you can say next while cooking in the kitchen your mom should not wear cloths made up of yes actually while cooking and working with the fire the people should not wear the fabric made up of artificial fibers because here it is nylon should not it may catch fire easily and it sticks to our body and causes damage that's why artificial fibers like nylon they should not be used while working with the uh, fireworks or doing work in the kitchen okay the thin strands of dash that we see are made up of still thinner strands called dash the thin strands of fabric okay that of that we see are made up of still thinner strands called fibers okay next 
refer the given flow chart and select the correct option here see sources of fiber then classify into plant fibers and animal fibers so out of these applied plant fibers some are obtained from stem so example it is w for that the plant fiber obtained from stem what are the plant fibers which obtained from stem example flax and jute so w should be either flax or jute you can let us write here Double E is either flax or jute. Okay, now the next plant fiber which is obtained from fruit. Generally, uh, from the fruit we get uh, cotton. So X should be cotton. Okay, next animal fiber which is uh, armed. Means uh, that animal is killed and that fiber is uh, uh, get we get it the fiber that is a uh, silk fiber. So why should be killed? Silk moth is uh, killed after making it cocoon. So why is silk? And next, if you say the animal is not harmed, so while taking this animal fiber, the animal is not harmed. So just we take the hair like suppose example if we take woolen fiber. While taking the wool from the animals, the animal is not harmed, just the wool is uh, trimmed. So, Z will be, sorry, it is Z. Z is wool. Now, see the correct uh, option. X is not flax, Y is silk. So, as it is wrong, this option will be wrong. W is not uh, uh, cotton, because Y is silk. W is either flax or jute. This is correct. And Z is wool. So both are correct here. If you see the next one, X is not jute. Z is wool only. But here, this is the only option which is having both correct answers. Okay, this will be correct answer now. Got it? Fibers are separated from the seeds of cotton balls by the process known as already we have seen that is called ginning next fibers are separated from the seeds of cotton balls by the process called yes now we have seen it now two times it has come ginning next refer the given yonder venn diagram which of these characteristics can be represented by represented at x see the first circle characteristics of wool and characteristics of cotton so the common properties for these two ability to trap and retain air fluffy texture compatible to wear in hot and humid weather so in these two the common factor is ability to trap and retain the air that is a common property for cotton and wool so in the place of x we can keep this characteristic for both cotton and wool okay that is about the practice sheet, Olympiad practice sheet on fiber to fabric chapter. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our YouTube channel AIMS today and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. And even please visit our website aimstoday.in for further information regarding online classes, quizzes, live worksheets, do it yourself activities. English classes, reasoning classes and even for coding classes also you can visit our website aimstoday.in